Hello YouTube, so I've got a new toy today, so no 3D printers in this video, but I got a Steam Link, uh, and I think a lot of people have probably gotten one recently, because it seems like uh, Valve decided to more or less drop the Steam Link and focus on their Android app, uh, that can do the same thing. Uh, so during the Steam summer sales, it looked like they pretty much just dumped their whole stock and you could pick up one, I don't remember, it's one dollar or five dollars or something, something ridiculous where they're definitely losing money. Um, but I had an issue and looking at the manual, which is very, very sparse, it's just, um, it's basically just a quick start guide like that. Uh, it's really only tells you how to hook up the cables, which I think most people could figure out anyway. And they say it, and they have a link to their homepage with some information about the link, and that's fine. But it didn't really answer my question because it says on the on the uh, all the documentation that it supports and. Xbox 360 controller and various other third-party controllers, in fact. Uh, but uh, I, I hooked up my 360 to it uh, wirelessly, so it's using a dongle. Um, and I was able to browse the initial menus and connect to my, my PC so uh, I could stream. But as soon as I got into this screen here, the controller stopped responding. And actually, all the uh, all the lights here were were, were all um, blinking, like it wasn't connected to anything. Usually, it'll say uh, says uh, player one, two, three, four, and then one uh, a quarter of this would light up to indicate which controller number this is. Um, and I was working, and I was I was googling, and I was. Searching around, I couldn't find it. Uh, I mean, all the all the official information from from Well was just about their own Steam controller. They just say they support other controllers, but they don't really say anything on how to get it working. Uh, and I was through the forums, and people said, "Well, you have to go and do this," but I couldn't find that in the menus anywhere. And then I think it was something completely different about uh, firmware updating, where it said you had to go to the Steam Link base page. Now, initially, I thought this was the base page, but in fact, this is just a picture from your PC. So if I go up into settings here, these settings are not for the Steam Link. These are the settings on my Steam client on the PC, in fact. So, uh, so I can go in here and say controller settings, and then there was some somebody mentioned you would need to set that off. Right now, it does, set con uh, it does say uh, detected controllers, Xbox 360, but it didn't in initially. And what I had to do to, to get this to work is I have to go to the Steam Link base page. Okay, so where's that? Well, if you go all the way out here, and then you'll, uh, right now I'm using my controller, but you'll need to connect a keyboard for that. That'll definitely work. So you have a keyboard, and when you're on this page, you press escape. And then up here, uh, you get these settings down here. They are to turn off and, and restart the actual PC in the other end. But these two up here, you can turn off the Steam Link and you can stop streaming. So what you need to go to do is tell it to stop streaming. And then it will drop you to what is apparently the Steam Link base page. And right here you have the option to connect. You've probably seen something like this when you first booted it up. But if you did like me, I just connected a strip to my desktop. I didn't look at anything else here. Uh, but we need to go out here to be able to really do anything. And out here the, the controller probably works fine. Uh, so what we need to do instead of connecting to a desktop, we need to go down into settings here. Uh, I've just updated the firmware, so it might look a bit different like this uh, than this. So I recommend first thing you do is I think was in system, 
here and you can uh, update to the latest uh, firmware, check for updates, you can even go on to a beta build. And the switch to Xbox, modern Xbox controller drive, that might, uh, I haven't tried that, it's probably for Xbox One, uh, Xbox One controllers. Anyway, you can, uh, you can update and stuff here, but to get the, the end, play around with a lot of other settings, um, like uh, what we have here. Anyway, what we need to do to get this controller to work, which was my problem, we need to go in here first of all and check that it's detected. And then we can do some uh, setup mapping and stuff. And then um, uh, there's this virtual here now. Uh, you can add it to USB sharing. Like, like, it, like this says, is you need a third party product virtual here uh, that you can purchase in the Steam store. Uh, that, that, that's not necessarily true. It's for some games and some controllers, I've added them, but I don't actually have virtual here running in the other end. I haven't bought virtual here. Uh, most games that have uh, native support, uh, now it says it's specifically about racing wheels and some joysticks and stuff. Uh, most games with good controller support should work without virtual here. So uh, I'm, for now I'm not going to bother buying that. I was trying out a set of Corsa, it didn't really work here. The controller is just functioning like a mouse, but I couldn't actually control uh, the car with it. Uh, as far as I could tell, but um, but I did get it to work in Witcher. So let's just try and uh, go back here, because like, like you see now I can actually browse the menus here with my controller. Um, so that's working. Uh, like I said, I just uh, tried out a set of Corsa that wasn't uh, working too well. Um, but I think most games that has that uh, the uh, controller icon down there, uh, like the Witcher 3 up here, should work okay in, in most cases. So uh, just try booting that, just to confirm that it still works. <laughs> um, I've never gotten very far in it. I got stuck on that uh, first Gryphon fight and then I never really got around to, to getting on with it. Um, unfortunately. But uh, I'll just go in. I could use the menus fine with the controller, no problem. And uh, now it just has to load. I think it is off my NVMe SSD, but still it's a big game with a lot of textures and big open worlds, so it still takes takes a little while to load. But here we are, and I can move around. Uh, it's telling me to use my Witcher sensors, I don't care. Um, I think this is where the Gryphon fight is, but I'm not sure where am I supposed to go. Uh, it's time to go the beast to kill the griffin, yeah, that's still that uh, mission I'm stuck on, but it works fine now. So, I mean, what they don't tell you is that <laughs> that fucking base page, and it, it, it didn't seem obvious to me at all. Uh, it was kind of uh, a coincidence that I found it, really, so I just wanted to make a quick video, so... If anybody else has just decided to buy the Steam Link on on this recent sale here for next to nothing, um, then hopefully you can get around this a bit quicker than I did. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, otherwise, just have a nice life.